Master Ball on three. One, two, three. Master Ball. I'm not asking for anything in return. I just basically want to see that kid progress in his future. Kevin Jones, known as Coach Moose, along with Terrence Judge, are the creators of Metropolitan Ball. Their goal is to inspire at-risk youth to prefer basketball and books over violence. So, Coach Moose, tell me about how Metro Ball got started. Well, Metro Ball started in 2000. There was a need for it in the community at the time. There was a lot of gun violence going on, a lot of murders going on in the city. So what we decided to do is start a basketball league. After forming their amateur athletic union team and competing both inside and outside of the D.C. area, they noticed a need amongst their players that could not be satisfied by basketball alone. You can have a tournament, but the kids still have to go home and they still face the issues that's in their community and their family. So we felt that we had to touch the lives of the family to get to the root of the problem, so we established after-school programs which involve the parents. In addition, Metroball offers a photojournalism program allowing members to photograph and write articles for the Metroball website. And in the summer, there's summer camp, helping to keep kids off the street and on the courts. Somebody right here. Unlike other AAU teams, Metroball is absolutely free for its participants. The youth that we deal with are at-risk youth who really can't afford to do anything like that. So. That's where we are we completely separate ourselves from those other organizations. And um, we, we pride ourselves on trying to make a difference in these youth in the lives of these youth. Coach Moose and Terrence make it their mission to help players both on and off of the court. Go. Team member Sean Riley describes Coach Moose as a father figure. A person that's always there, like he takes me home after practice, every practice, and I don't give him gas money. I can see your feet. I knew it was going. We were once these kids at one time, and we wouldn't be where we are if someone didn't help us. So this is where we used to have to step in. We have to give back. I believe it's our duty to give back. Danella Seelock, News 4, Washington.